the pulmonary system. Okay, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was just some definitions of terms. So the first term that I want to talk about is pulmonary. Now this term um, really means anything that is of or pertaining to the lungs. So hence this is the pulmonary system or the system that revolves around the organ of the lungs. Okay, now the next um, term I want to define is vent ventilatory or ventilation. Ventilatory is anything that involves the movement of air in and out of the lungs. So it is the process of breathing. Um, so that is ventilation. And then the third term that I want to talk about is respiratory. Now these are sort of often, all three of these terms are sort of used by lay people as synonyms, but they are not synonyms, so I just wanted to be clear what we're talking about. Actually, not, not only lay people, but professionals as well. Um, respiration is the process of burning substrates to create energy within the cell. So specifically, it's the use of oxygen. Um, in a chemical reaction inside mitochondria, that's a mitochondria in case you didn't know, um, to, you know, you're having a substrate like glucose, protein, or fat, and you're um, having it exposed to an enzyme and oxygen in the mitochondria, and then out comes energy stored in the form of ATP, and waste products, one of which is carbon dioxide. And that, so that is the process of respiration. So anything that, in, when we're talking about respiratory in this, in a physiology class, we are talking specifically about the process um, that is taking place inside the cells, or cellular respiration, of the breakdown of, um, of glucose to make um, energy, stored in the form of ATP, which uses oxygen and produces carbon dioxide. Okay, so that brings us to the next, um, the next topic of discussion, which is what is the purpose of the pulmonary system? And really the purpose relates very closely to the uh, process of respiration. So really it is to provide um, the purpose is, is to provide oxygen for the process of respiration. So the purpose of the pulmonary system is to provide oxygen for this process and to remove CO2. So um, cellular respiration can occur unchecked. So how does this happen? Well, the way that the lungs are structured, actually I'll call this, so this is the overall purpose, and then what I would call the functional purpose of the pulmonary system. So the functional purpose The functional purpose is essentially to um, provide a place for oxygen to dissolve into the bloodstream or into plasma. And the lungs are set up specifically for this purpose. And it does this by um, having a very large surface area. And the surface area is about 100 meters squared. So this is the um, if you have one, if something, a strip a meter wide, that is the length of a football field. That would be a surface of 100 meters squared. So that is the surface area of our lungs. And this surface area is, um, separates blood from oxygen um, by 0 0.2 microns. So there is a 100 meters squared of this very thin um, 0 0.2 micron thick um, layer that separates the air on this side 
and the blood on this side. Yeah, it's a little red blood, so. Okay, and what this 100, 100 meters squared is, is the total of the alveolar capillary membrane. Okay. Now, as is true with all organs in the body, the lung is um, set up around this functional purpose. So the lungs are made up with a perf with perfect matching of the airways. So remember the airways. So this is the trachea, and we have you know the trachea bifurcate off into different branches, right? Now, interestingly enough, as they branch off into these different branches, um, we have arteries that perfectly match these branches, right? So we have one that goes here, we have one that goes down here. So we have perfect matching. Now, there are approximately approximately 20 generations of branches of airways and this is exactly so um, this would be the first generation this would be the second generation and here's a third a third generation down here okay so we have 20 generations each one is going to have around three uh, branches and lo and behold the the arterial system exactly matches this 20 generations about three branches per generation so the vascular system of the lungs and the pulmonary system of the lungs are sort of um, develop in exactly the same um, level of exact same form of development with the exact same branches going the exact same directions and of course the pulmonary system and the pulmonary vasculature meet up at the alveoli now you know sort of when I picture it's hard to picture this in two dimensions but what happens is we have you know arterioles that lead down to capillaries and these capillaries branch into a whole bunch of branches and completely surround an alveoli in three dimensions and if you look at this closely it actually looks like a sheet of flowing blood over each alveoli so and this is what makes up for that huge surface area All right, it's made up of a sheet of flowing blood. So again, that meets the functional purpose of the lung, which is to provide lots of surface area for oxygen to come in contact with the blood. Okay, so O2 meets blood.